At this point, why hasn't Prime Minister Justin Trudeau already called a public inquiry into alleged interference by China in our democracy? If you're keeping count on this issue, um, David Johnson, who was appointed by Trudeau as his independent special rapporteur, which means an advisor, um, to advise him on whether a public inquiry was necessary. And the deadline for that is May 23rd, after Trudeau appointed Johnson in March, on March 15th. But the problem here is that the whole process is absurd. When it comes to national security, the buck stops with the prime minister. It doesn't stop with David Johnson. David Johnson is a highly respected former governor general who was appointed by Stephen Harper. But he's also a lifelong friend of the Trudeau family. And until recently, he was a member of the Pierre Trudeau Foundation, which is involved in its own controversy for accepting a controversial donation from a Chinese billionaire. Now, all this started months ago, primarily set off by reporting by the Globe and Mail and Global News that China had attempted to interfere in the last two federal elections. Uh, Minister, when did you first find out that a PRC diplomat was targeting me and my family? Uh, I've learned it through the news. And that the primary thing they were doing was um, launching campaigns against conservative MPs, not exclusively, but mostly against conservative MPs and candidates who were judged to be hostile to China. But it's since exploded far beyond that. Now there are allegations that the government of China is interfering in all levels of government in Canada, and not just during elections. Not just the federal government, but provincial governments, municipal governments, indigenous governments, and not just with opposition politicians, but with politicians of all stripes. In other words, this is a, this is a major tactical campaign that's been going on for a long time. Now, Trudeau was warned about all of this by a parliamentary committee that he he appointed in 2017 and that in 2019, four years ago, told him that all of this was going on, that the, the federal government wasn't doing a good job, uh, that the current government and past governments weren't doing a good job of dealing with it and had recommendations for how to go about combating this stuff. So what did Trudeau do with this report from his own committee that had politicians of all levels uh, of, of parties on it? He ignored it. He just, he just he accepted the recommendations and, and nothing happened. Okay, so the latest controversy is that conservative MP Michael Chong was targeted by a Chinese diplomat in Toronto with a campaign that would include threats to him and his extended family in Hong Kong, the reason being that in 2021, he had denounced um, China's genocide of its Uyghur uh, minority Muslim population. And apparently the Chinese government didn't like that, so they were gonna target him. I can't think of an interest more important to the Canadian state than the protection and the safety and the security of its own citizens and I agree with here you. on Canadian soil. And that I agree trumps with you. all other interests. Now, the government has now expelled that diplomat, but Michael Chong himself has said what happened to him happens all the time to Canadians of Chinese origin in Canada when they denounce justifiably human rights violations in China, that they are then targeted in Canada by agents of the uh, Chinese government through campaigns that can involve, you know, everything from threats to harassment um, uh, to intimidation. So the concern then, be oh, and by the way, the parliamentary committee that they also, it also advised Trudeau about this and recommended taking action. And he just ignored that. So look, enough is enough. Um, it's time for the Trudeau government to stop investigating itself on the issue of foreign interference. It's time for a public inquiry headed by someone appointed not just by the prime minister, but with the consent of the major opposition parties. And the reason for that is that such an inquiry may well be critical of the Trudeau government. And let's in all this not forget the point of a public inquiry. It's to develop, it's to understand what's happened and to find ways of preventing it from happening in the future, which means preventing Canadians having their rights uh, abridged by foreign interference in our democracy, which is a very important issue. Uh, I'm Laurie Goldstein of Sun Media. Uh, we're always interested in hearing your views and please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our YouTube channel.